Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having a wonderful day. So in this video, we're gonna be looking at player's distance irons. More specifically, we're gonna be looking at what I think are the two best DTC, that is direct to consumer options when it comes to this player's distance category. So first we've got the Tacomo 101T hollow body iron. And then the Sub-70 699 Pro V2. Again, these are both direct-to-consumer brands, so it may be a little tricky for you to actually find these if you wanted to try them out. Yes, I have them here at Elite Fit Golf, and you can schedule a fitting with these clubs, but for a lot of people, if you're not nearby, it's gonna be a little bit harder. So this video is really trying to sort of show you some of the differences between these two clubs because I think they're both really good options, but there are definitely differences. They're definitely maybe suited for slightly different styles of golfers or at least different golfers as far as what they prefer looking down at. Okay, first up, the Tacoma 101T. Price on these irons for a seven club set is 589, really comes out to about 640 after shipping for the seven club set. So that comes out to about $90 per club. Now, that being said, one thing you definitely wanna be aware of when it comes to these Tacomos is, as of right now, when I'm filming this video, the only option to getting these irons is a four through pitching wedge set. You cannot sort of cherry pick your set makeup. You can't get a five through gap wedge, or if you only wanted six through pitching wedge, you can't do any of that. You are basically locked into a four through pitching wedge setup. So just something to be aware of. Now, as far as the design of this club, I would call it very blade-like in its appearance. It has what I consider a pretty narrow sole. The top line, again, very thin, not a lot of offset, has a sort of, it's a satin, what I would call a satin-esque finish. It's definitely brushed a little bit, but it is still pretty shiny overall. So it gives you a very blade-like look when you set it down behind the ball and look at it. As far as the lofts go on this iron, these are what I would consider really very traditional lofts still overall. We're talking about a 22 degree four iron. We're talking about a 32 degree seven iron and a 46 degree pitching wedge, which in the player's distance category, those are gonna be pretty weak lofts. Those are gonna be pretty traditional. Offset on these, 3.3 millimeters on the four iron, 2.4 on the seven iron, and 1.6 millimeters on the pitching wedge. Now, when we're talking about the Sub-70 699 Pro V2, starting off looking at a price of $770 for a seven club set. So that is $110 per club with the brushed nickel style finish. They also make a dark finish, which is a little bit more expensive. Again, this is in that player's distance category, but it's going to be a little bit thicker, a little bit more on the distance side of the scale versus the Tacoma. So when you look down at this club, it's got a little bit thicker sole. The top line, again, it's a little bit thicker top line. The offset on these is a little bit more progressive actually. So the long irons have a little bit more offset compared to the Tacoma, let's say, but the short irons actually have a little bit less again compared to that Tacoma. So it's sort of a, it's almost like a flighted design when you're talking about shafts, but in the head. So more offset in the long irons, less in the short irons. Now the lofts on these are going to be a little bit more in line with what you think of for a player's distance iron, at least at this point in the year 2023. So the four iron in this set, 20 degrees, the seven iron, 30 degrees, and the pitching wedge is 44 degrees. So a little bit stronger than the, than the Tacoma. Again, this is really more in line with what a lot of other brands are gonna have as their lofts for this style of iron. All right, we're gonna start off with the Tacoma 101T. I've got 162 yard par three, slightly uphill. so should be a pretty good distance for a seven iron. Uh, again, yeah, we're gonna hit some shots. Maybe I'll try and adjust trajectory a little bit, try and work the ball around if my swing is up to it today and see what we can do with each of these different heads. And we'll pay attention to the spin and the launch and see how those compare as well. But we'll start off with just sort of hitting just a normal seven iron shot here. 
again, looking down at this Tacoma, it definitely looks very player-like, very blade-like between that shinier finish, that thin top line, that overall size of the head. It definitely looks like a player-style club. Well, that felt pretty good right there. Let's see what kind of numbers we got. So launch angle 20.5, peak height 38 yards. So I definitely hit that pretty darn high. Uh, 6,700 backspin, which is about what you would want, 164 carry. So yeah, pretty much everything there looks pretty good. The feel of it, really solid. Now, just full disclosure, if you saw my original review of this club, I definitely thought it was a little bit on the clicky side that you get with some of these hollow body designs. It can be a little clicky. It can feel a little springy. And so I went ahead and actually added just a little bit of hot melt into the interior of this head. And that made a huge difference to the feel. I think this club now feels, it feels like a forged type club. It just has a very solid feel. But full disclosure, that was a modification that I made after the fact. So definitely something to consider if you are looking at these irons because, again, the before was just a little bit springy, a little bit clicky sounding. Now, though, with that hot melt, really good. All right, let's try, let's try and hit one a little bit lower this time, see if I can take the trajectory down just a little bit. Well, it was lower, but I also pulled it. I think that was lower. Let's see. 19.3 launch angle, 6,600 backspin, 164 carry. Uh, yeah, another one felt really solid, just for fun. I'm gonna try and draw one. We're not gonna hold our breath here, but. Well, that right there is about as much draw as I can ever get, so I'll take it. Now let's switch it out, check out the Sub-70 699 Pro V2. Okay, so just looking down at this one, definitely looks what I would say is a little bit more forgiving. Again, that top line, definitely a little thicker. The overall size of the head looks just a little bit more substantial. It just feels like, it feels like this might be slightly easier to hit, at least when you look down at it. But let's see what happens. We're gonna start off just hitting just sort of a standard seven iron shot. Yeah, that felt, again, felt really good. Would not surprise me to see a little bit more distance out of this club again, because it's got a little bit stronger lofts to it. So 171 yard carry, launch angle 18.8. .8, so maybe just a little bit lower and backspin again, also just a little bit lower, just under 6,000. Again, a little bit lower loft. Now that one felt like it was just a touch off the toe maybe, but still plenty of distance, plenty of height. Yeah, very similar, 18.4 launch angle again, just under 6,000 backspin. Try and work a couple. Let's first try and hit it a little bit lower, see if we can drop the trajectory down a little bit. Eh, that one wasn't great. I get another try. That felt lower. That felt a little bit lower. Let's see what we got there. That was a good one. All right, I'm gonna try and show you guys a draw. There we go. There's a draw.
Biggest difference I really noticed was definitely slightly lower launch out of the sub 70 and a little bit less spin out of the sub 70. That was probably the biggest difference as far as the ball flight goes. Which one I liked more? I felt slightly more comfortable maybe with the Tacoma and the shape of it versus the sub 70, at least as far as what I was doing today. It's gonna be a little bit closer looking to what I'm currently using, so that probably has something to do with it. But again, overall, as far as on the miss hits versus the good ones, the numbers were very similar. And they are in the same category of club. They just sort of are sitting at two ends of the spectrum. That being this one is definitely a little more players looking and this one is a little bit more distance looking. But overall, the results I saw pretty darn close. It's really gonna come down to what you prefer the look of. Do you prefer more of a traditional blade style look or do you want something that looks a little bit more substantial sitting behind the ball? Now, if you have other questions about these Tacomos or these Sub-70 irons, you can leave those down in the comments below or you can get in touch with me at EliteFitGolf.com. You can also set up appointments for repairs, custom builds, or set up a fitting. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure you go down below, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon so you'll be alerted when I post new videos. You can find me on Instagram at EliteFitGolf, and we'll see you next time. Bye.